Back in Britain, the fight for supremacy in the skies has been remembered at an impressive Battle of Britain air show. The Second World War airfield at the Imperial War Museum, Duxford, resonated to the roar of Merlin engines as hurricanes and spitfires showed off the versatility that won the battle 70 years ago. Victoria Smith was there for Forces News. The planes of the Second World War in the skies above Duxford once again. Seventy years after the Battle of Britain, this hurricane and spitfire displayed the skills that helped keep the enemy at bay. It's only right that Duxford should play host to this tribute to the Battle of Britain. In 1940, it was home to some of the greatest fighter pilots of the war. They were guided into battle by the likes of Douglas Bader, keeping the Germans from gaining control of our skies. The first Spitfire squadron flew from here, Douglas Bader flew from here, so we're very keenly aware of our, our fantastic history. And the 70th anniversary is so important to us, it's the last year that we'll really have living veterans from the Battle of Britain, it's very important for us to commemorate that. It's a chance for people from all generations to remember the fighting spirit of that time and to relive the experiences of 1940. Well, I'd like to see the air, air display, it? but also meet a lot of friends, pe people you, you've uh, flown with and, uh, and been with, and you meet them up here, and uh, then we've all got different stories to tell. Keeping planes like these airworthy in 2010 is the job of dedicated technicians. A bit of sweat and blood and tears, but, um, yeah, it, it takes... Some hard work and patience sometimes, but it's a, it's a brilliant job. Technology may have moved on, but the Red Arrow team dedicated their display to the aircraft of the war years. Here they form the shape of a Spitfire and perform a victory roll. It's another tribute to the pilots and the planes that fought in the Battle of Britain. Victoria Smith, Forces News, Imperial War Museum, Duxford.